Okay, good morning my friends. Um, so yeah, um, I woke up a bit late and of course when you wake up you always take your phone and you start scrolling. And yeah, then we saw this. So yesterday apparently um, Tilray jumped almost 40% and as you see like Canopy almost 80%, Aurora almost 50%. So something has just happened, okay. So in this video we're gonna talk about that. Enjoy guys. years, marijuana has been listed among the world's most dangerous drugs, classified alongside the likes of heroin or ecstasy. But tonight, in a major shift, according to sources with knowledge of the decision, the Biden administration is looking to reclassify the drug to Schedule 3, like ketamine or testosterone or Tylenol with codeine, which would allow marijuana to be more easily studied for medical benefits. The change would not legalize recreational marijuana, the possession and distribution of which is still a federal crime, but would recognize it as a drug less likely to lead to addiction. Stephanie Shepard served nine years for conspiracy to distribute. What does this mean for incarceration rates in America? Hopefully it means a step closer to lowering those rates um, and also releasing those who are serving heinous sentences for cannabis. Public opinion has shifted dramatically in the last 20 years, from 34% of Americans who believe marijuana should be legal to 70%. Nearly half of states have legalized marijuana for recreational use. But tonight, one opposition group says the cannabis industry has lobbied heavily to sell demonstrably harmful products and calls out the Biden administration for a, quote, thinly veiled attempt to reverse polling trends. No one should be jailed. President Biden has already pardoned thousands thousands of marijuana offenders, and the move could garner political support this election year, particularly among young and black voters. The proposed change still has to go through a public comment period and would not become official for at least 60 days. Blaine Alexander, NBC News. Okay, so that has just happened. It's some good news, of course, but Nothing is official yet, guys. Not, nothing is official yet, and I know I hate to pop your bubble because, of course, everybody is excited when they see sh shit like this. Everybody is jumping on cannabis stocks. They think, whew, good news. I think uh, cannabis will explode right now, and it will explode a little bit, of course. We saw it 40% yesterday, huge. It's been a while since it jumped 40% in a day, but nothing is official yet. It can take 60 days. To pause the bill, of course. We had some good news. Um, I think a month ago with Germany, um, the legalization of marijuana. So doctors are now, are now um, ready. They are legal to prescribe uh, marijuana use for stuff like uh, depression, fear, insomnia, pain, of course. Pain, a huge, huge thing. So some good news. But it can take, to be honest, a generation to let um, cannabis be, um, how do I say it, um, there is still a stigma about uh, marijuana use. Um, people still see it, some generation, especially the older generation, see it as drugs and drugs are bad for those people. So it can take um, some years. Um, I think the younger generation of doctors, they will see um, can cannabis use as a benefit, as a positive um, pain use as a positive um, depression um, medicine stuff like that um, but the older generation i don't believe they are ready to prescribe uh, marijuana for um, you know symptoms like depression and stuff like that we need some time we need some time um, patience is the key in cannabis um, you know investing it can take some time but i believe the biden administration is going to push this bill because they want to say hey we did this, we made this happen, we made this happen, you know, huge news. I don't believe Trump, Trump is a really conservative guy, you know, he is, he still sees um, cannabis maybe as a bad thing. So therefore, we still have some time, we still have some time, 60 days is gonna take, approximately, something like that. Elections are in the, you know, in the end of the year, so we still have some time. If we're gonna pause this bill, huge news. Stock price will jump, but yet again, this is just a spark. We need another spark. What we want to see, what we want to see, what do you think? Positive numbers, positive numbers. You want to see a positive net income. If that happens, we can say we did it. 
and that I'm waiting for that you know patience is the key we just need some good numbers we need some positive numbers lost earnings I was really disgusted I was just disgusted I was like come on Erwin Erwin is the CEO of uh, Tilray as you already know he's holding a royal flush you know just play the hand just play the hand and give us some positive numbers you want to see a positive net income Erwin it's easy you're ready, you're holding a row, you flush, just play it. Okay, so this is basically everything that happened. Um, I'm not going to make a long video because it is still news, it is still rumors. Nothing is official yet. Yet again, huge news. They are talking about it, but we want to see some official stuff. You want to see some official news, you want to see the bill is passed. You want to see that. Okay, so that's basically all what happened um, with Tilray, with cannabis industry as a whole. Huge news, but nothing is official yet. So, sorry, I'm gonna pop this bubble. We just have to wait. Patience is the key. Patience is the key. So, that's basically it. Enjoy your day, guys. Um, like and like and subscribe. Always nice. And enjoy the weather because in Belgium it is rare to have some beautiful weather. It rains a lot here. So, okay, enjoy enjoy your day, guys. Bye.